White Sox about ready to take the field for the first time. And on the mound will be veteran right-hander Donnie Roach. Six-footer, 200 pounds. He's 29 years old. He's in camp as a non-roster invitee. Let's take a look at the defense behind Roach in the outfield as we go left to right. Eloy Jimenez, John Jay, and Brandon Geyer. On the left side of the infield, DJ Peterson and Tim Anderson. On the right side, it's Yomer Sanchez and Jose Abreu. And then Wellington Castillo will do the catching. And back to Roach. You also have talked with him during your stay here at spring training. And here is veteran Justin Turner. 34-year-old perennial MVP candidate for the L.A. Dodgers. Injury-riddled year last season, Rich. He hit 312 with 14 homers, 52 runs batted in. And lucky for us, he has brought that beard and mustache with him as well. <laughs> it looks like it possibly is trimmed a little bit. Well, Turner, Kurt hit a home run in the opener against the White Sox last year in this very date uh, in the first inning. Solo shot off Dylan Covey, so... Uh, they got off the Dodge off to a good start. They won that game last year. I mentioned 13-5 to in the opener. Turner didn't join the Dodgers until mid-May last year. Remember, he had a quad problem. They really missed him at third base. That opened up the door for other guys. Kike Hernandez plays over there. and well, Max Muncy would come up a little bit later on, but you know, with one guy out, that gives another guy a chance to make a roster and Earn his way into the big leagues. Donnie Roach comes home. That pitch is inside. Infield this time plays fairly straight up the middle. Second baseman Sanchez. This time on the right side of second. Looks like his feet are on the outfield grass. Outfield to the right. The center fielder is John Jay. There's Turner, that odd batting stance. Look at that toe, Rich. The toe is on the ground. The heel is off the ground. A swing and a line drive base hit to left center field. It'll run. Jay will chase at the base of the wall. Jay looking for his cutoff man. Finds him, but Turner does what Turner does. <laughs> base hit his first at bat of spring training. It's a double. And here's the versatile Kike Hernandez where the Dodgers... Here at Glendale, a split stadium. Again, they have brought a lot of their faithful with them. A lot of blue in the stands. Gorgeous setting here. And, and you know, it's always great to see it, the sunshine out and see a park that's almost totally filled. It's a great, great crowd. Yeah, you, can almost, you can almost count the clouds today after yeah. a real miserable weather stretch. And speaking of stretch, Roach will work out of the stretch. Right-handed pitcher with runners on first and second. And one down looking for... Ground ball double play, misses up high. Hernandez, 256 last year, 21 bombs, 52 runs batted in. Anderson and Sanchez, double play depth. Outfielder Jay in center, shaded towards right center. Corner guy is pretty much straight away. Roach misses down low. This Brandon Geyer out in right field, he's a veteran, he's been with both Cleveland and Tampa, and he's a guy who got a chance to be the fourth outfielder, and he could play all three outfield positions, Rich. I think he will make the team. Yep. He, uh, they had options to go somewhere else, and they uh, mentioned he wanted some at-bats here, and they pretty much gave him some at-bats, so I think he's going to wind up on this ball club. That's my guess. Well, Donnie Roach pitching from behind, not where you want to be, to this dangerous L.A. Dodger lineup right. as he misses low. And the count is three balls and no strikes. That's exactly what you don't want to see for Donnie Roach getting behind the count and two guys on already. 27-year-old Enrique Hernandez goes by Kike. Now he can play about seven of the nine positions on the field. No score. Top of the first inning, Dodgers and White Sox. There's a strike about chest high, letter high on Hernandez. There's a good shot of Wellington Castillo. Former Cub, former White Sox, he had to sit out last year, suspended for 80 games, and he was very remorseful and told everybody it's it's a brand new start for me. That's him behind home plate. Roach to the plate, that's a line drive base hit to left field. Turner held up at third base by Dino Ebel. Eloy Jimenez gets the ball back into the infield, so base is loaded for the Dodgers. 
with one out in the top of the first inning. Rich, very simple formula again. Roach pitching from behind. Yeah. I don't care if you're facing single A guys or major league guys. You've got to be ahead. Uh, Rich, I'm not a math major, nor do I pretend to be as you're taking a look at Rich Hill, but that's only $12.90 a ticket, right? There Ten you go. One. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty good deal. All right, Rich Hill, what a story. 38 years old, 11-5 and five last year for the Dodgers. He has been around is a general statement. We'll get to that in a moment. He's left-handed, 6'5", 220. Grew up in Boston, Mass. And of course, people in Chicago familiar with him. Yep. Probably associated with the Cubs more than any of his other 13 or so organizations. And John Jay will lead it off. Possible new starting center fielder for the White Sox. Takes low, and the last of the first is underway. With Kansas City and Arizona, remember the Diamondbacks were making a push for the playoffs last year. So after starting the year with the Royals, the Diamondbacks made a deal for Jay. Swats one foul left side. Batted 268 between the two clubs with three homers. Knocked in 40. And uh, National League fans will remember him. Made his mark rich with the Cardinals. Cardinals, and that's where he grew up in their system. I mentioned earlier he was a friend, he is a friend of uh, Machado, and he got all kinds of interviews because of Machado in camp. People asking what's going to go on, and of course he had no answers. Uh, it's up to Machado, <laughs> obviously. But no, another nice guy. I mean, you know, mentioned Rich Hill. He was with the Cubs in 2005, Kurt, and in that year the White Sox, of course, won the World Series. And that year with the Cubs, the 05, he was 0-2, a very fat 9.13. But he's had a long, long career. 18 years for pro ball. This is 18th for the lefty. That big breaking ball that he throws, a slider and a fastball. Good pitch to take for Jay as he shows that he has seen quality lefties before. Outfield to the left. Infield straight up. We'll go defensively in a moment. Let's look at one more pitch to veteran John Jay. 4-0 Dodgers lead the White Sox last of the first. There's that big curveball right. and he hammers it in for strike three called. Let's look at the Dodgers defensively in the outfield, left to right. Jock Peterson, Alex Verdugo, and Apollo Orlando. On the left side of the infield, Justin Turner and Daniel Castro. On the right side, Kike Hernandez and Max Muncy. Austin Barnes is catching, and Rich Hill is pitching. You know that curveball he throws, which of course is his forte, sets up the fastball so well. And last year, 57% fastballs, 35% curveballs. So he, he mixes it in pretty good, and that's what keeps hitters off balance. And he also drops his arm angle uh, the lower three quarters against the lefties. This is Brandon Geyer. I think White Sox fans are really going to enjoy his talent. He'll send one in the air. Right side of the yard. Hernandez, the second baseman, calling, moving to his right, makes the catch. Two outs. I mean, this is really a typical Rich Hill outing, isn't it? I mean, it just, he doesn't break a sweat. He's in the eighth inning, 72 pitches, and he just throws strikes. A strike thrower, and that's why the Dodgers wanted him, and that's why they got him. That'll bring up Jose Abreu. Abreu playing first base today. Alonzo being a DH, and they'll be doing that all year long, I guess switching back and forth. But Jose in great shape coming in, as usual. Big, strong, right-handed hitter. Takes a breaking ball for a strike. 265 is lowest batting average with the White Sox last year. Fought through a couple of injuries. Hit 22 homers, drove in 78. That would be an off year yeah. for Abreu. That's a pretty good year for others. Swing and a line drive right to the second baseman. Hernandez glove side for the catch. And the Sox go down in order. A little different pacing from the <laughs> top of the first to the bottom of the first. We're done with one at Camelback Ranch. And the Dodgers lead the Sox four to nothing.